Hi, welcome back to tuning into today's only video. We're going to have a quick look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So, day 10 will take us to the 19th of December and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS that you set on Sobbles, made run throughout the couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a good CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into a new year. I'll get time of that for you right now. So you're going to start off with the latest wind flow map from EarthNoldSchool.net. Show that once again, load pressure is in control. Adding the ascent of the weather today with the centre just to the west of Scotland and Ireland. Winds coming from off the Atlantic, so wet, windy once again. But at least it's via with the air once more originating from a long way southwards. Central temperature is sitting now at 7.3, that's 2.7 degrees above 61 to 90 on the average, and that is provisional to a uh, yesterday to the 8th of December. <coughs> so, sorry everyone, these were GFS of red temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're going to London today, the red line is first year upper air temperature actual London starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment and keeping them above average for the next week maybe signs of a bit of cool down reverting back closer to normal when we get through towards the run up to Christmas presentation wise it's going to be quite a lot of dry weather in the southeast anyway for the rest of the working week more unsettled over weekend and next week looking thoroughly wet once again Temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days up to the 14th of December coming out substantially above average in those red shady colours. And the 10 to 14 days also coming out above average, but only just. So not as, uh, not as mild maybe in the third week of December compared to like uh, the next few days. And uh, precipitation of 96, seven days. Well, dry, driving average in the southeast corner, but western average through many northern and western regions. Right, let's start going through that all important chart data then. And uh, we are going to start off with the UK Met Euro run, first of all. So, low pressure to the west of Scotland midday on Friday, keeping those westerly winds going. Into the weekend, long fetch southwesterly, so very mild, but also looking. Pretty wet and windy. And we keep those west southwest winds going all the way up to uh, next Tuesday. One low clears out to the east of Scotland. Little transit ridge have an next low is uh, out there in the middle of the North Atlantic. Has our name on it and uh, will bring further wet and windy where I think. Almost certainly, if we could go on any further than next Tuesday, which of course we can't. I can't again with low pressure. Dominated weather to the northwest Scotland at the end of the week into the weekend. Very wild with southwest winds, but also looking quite wet, windy, and the unsettled low pressure dominated driven weather carries on uh, right the way up to next Wednesday. There with the icon model. The KMA looks like this. So once more, low pressure is in the ascendancy. Three weekend into next week. As we run up towards Christmas, just a bit of a hint, maybe, some higher pressure starting to get going across Northern and uh, Western Europe. But even then, low pressure is not really stopping. So that gets 21st of December, still with low pressure in control. Higher pressure to our south and also to our east, but still the onslaught pattern goes on. And then what about GFS? Uh, well, again, low pressure is in control to the north west Scotland on Friday, bringing lots of unsettled conditions with it. Into the weekend and next week, south west continue, continue, so very mild, but also often wet and windy. And then we move on into the third week of December and low pressure again is dominating and it's in control. That looks completely thoroughly wet windy there around day 10. Dare I say it, even stormy, maybe. That's the 19th of December. That came off. Could that be a day storm? Well, it's a possibility because 10 days away. So very, very long way off. All uh, right, below pressures keep coming as we approach Christmas as well. Starting a little bit colder, 
into the north there. It's got a just trickling to the far north. And uh, another deep low coming here for the e coming in here for the eve of Christmas Eve. Blimey. And as that one gets out of the way, that starts to bring some cold air into the north again. So, you get to Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, just a little bit of a cold, <laughs> cold snap. Blink and you miss it. Um, and by Christmas Day, midday Christmas Day, looks like that. The next day, oh, the next day of low pressure, about to bring more wet, windy weather in with it. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you share from Paul Jim at Workshop. Comment, let's know what you've got. This is all my videos. Go check and don't forget to share for those bugs and get them subscribe too. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Right, okay, moving on then. GM, again, low pressure is dominating the weather. At the end of week and into weekend, the low pressure domination goes on. Very mild, winds remain for southwest, but unsettled. And we carry on moving up towards daytime. So the size of some higher pressure building up from the south then. But I think only briefly and transiently by day 10 itself, the next area of low bring more wet weather with it. I remember you see them rounding it all off, looking like this. So, again, it's low pressure with further wet, windy weather for the weekend and into uh, next week as well. By the middle of next week, a little bit of transit race trying to build itself. That's going to be pushed aside, I think, by at day 9 and 10. That area of low. <laughs> and that one is also bringing further wet and windy weather in with it. Oh dear, all the models are, are really singing from the same hymn sheet today, aren't they? Reasonable precipitation forecast based on the each midnight run. You'll see further bouts of rain coming and going. Not too much on extra days in the south and southeast, but lots in the north. And in the west, I'm thoroughly wet in the south there by day 10. And these are the on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from ECM Delta in today. And this gets us to 90% of December. So 16 members of the ECM ensemble's flats, pancake, low pressure, bringing unsettled conditions in from off the Atlantic. But then we have got uh, 13 with some ridging uh, over the country, bringing something a little bit drier. And uh, then we've got 11 high pressure ridging from the Azores up towards uh, Scandinavia and northern parts of Europe. That's perhaps a little bit more settled and could be a bit cooler if winds come in from off the continent. Uh, we have got six with high pressure over top of the country dominating the weather. And then we've got five. With low pressure still in control for the Atlantic. So, really, it's a mixed bag, actually, isn't it? And more anticlimactic options than I was expecting uh, to see there, to be honest. So, we might be uh, seeing high pressure building for day 10. In two side, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to be 24 percent to see. And uh, 21 members of the East South Sons low pressure to our north and west. They look unsettled. We have, however, got 13 with high pressure up towards Scandinavia, trying to bring in some cooler air, maybe some colder air from the east. We have got 11 again with high pressure towards Scandinavia. Again, could we be, could we be bringing easterly winds with that? And then we have got six with high pressure through the north and the west of Europe. So, to be honest, it looks like the trend is there to high pressure. That does throw a bit of a, a, bit of a, um, uh, that does throw a bit of a spatter in the works, doesn't it? It does look as though the trend is there towards a uh, higher pressure within the ECM ensemble. But, well, we're going to wait and see. <laughs> as ever. Right, 7SV2, and then we're done. Uh, so, these are 500 mil of our height anomalies, and they're broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will be taking us from the 9th to 15th December. Low pressure dominates the weather from off the Atlantic, wet, windy, and mild. Week 2 will be the 16th to 22nd December. Low pressure again. Dominates the weather from the west. Week three 
<laughs> 23rd, so night seven sees a change. High pressure being spilled towards Scandinavia. Winds backing round to more of an easterly, possibly. And then uh, week four is the 3rd December, 5th January. So chop of low, free west of Europe, blocking air of high pressure to the north, northeast. Could that, and also to the northwest, could that be starting to pull some colder air into that trough of low pressure? Mmm. Winchy New Year, maybe. We'll see. Time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you have enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Uh, drop a comment. Let's know what you might all about. We just got it. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. So, you enjoy the rest of your uh, Tuesday evening. We'll be back with more content tomorrow for this one. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.